We are back in the studio today, and of course, that means we get to talk about the greatest weather phenomenon to ever exist, snow, and that's what we're looking at right here. And in fact, this is gonna be taking place right around Thanksgiving. The first thing we're gonna take a look at here is our 500 millibar wind speeds to kind of get a look at where the system is actually going to be affecting. So this is our main trough right here, and there's gonna be two main factors of this. On the north side, we're gonna have to talk about snow, and on the south side, we're gonna have to talk about severe weather. Before we get any further into the video, this is still four five six days out in advance what that means is we don't know the exact specific details yet but it is still important to talk about the signals because signals will lead to something more specific further down the road we're not going to mess around anymore here and go right into snow totals the most important thing of a winter forecast first things first we're going to take a look at the gfs and wow i thought i said there was going to be a winter storm why is this so lame funny story actually a couple of days ago this was supposed to be an absolutely crazy winter snowstorm and we were seeing up to even a foot of snow way down here into Kansas, Arkansas, Missouri, Tennessee, Kentucky, places like this that don't normally see snow this soon in the winter. But it was supposed to happen and suddenly it's gone. Part of the reason that we're seeing this is it looks like this system is going to have a little bit more warm air come up from the south than what we first thought was going to happen. And this is sort of our snow inhibitor as far as it goes right now. Obviously models like to fluctuate a little bit and there is a chance we're going to see that cold air come back from the north and make this system colder, which will lead to more snow. But for now, that's just not what it's looking like. However, there are still multiple places that are going to see a lot of snow from this event. And that is the Great Lake region. Do you can see that basically every great lake up here has a nice swath of snow off to the east and that is of course lake effect snow the way that this system is going to be setting up with the orientation of our jet stream we are going to be looking at a lot of air moving from west to east across the lakes and of course that is what causes lake effect snow the lakes are still very warm and there's a lot of moisture and this moisture is what will be leading to the majority of our snowfall the main area that i'm looking at is buffalo new york right now now buffalo new york you guys are very familiar with lake effect snowfall and in in fact, in very recent memories, you guys got 66 inches of lake effect snowfall. That is not what this event's going to be, but it still could be pretty significant. Snow is not the only thing we have to worry about though, and we do have to talk about the severe weather side of the system as well. Taking a look at the Euro here, we're looking at instantaneous flash rate. This is what the lightning might look like for our areas down here in the south, and you can see that there is a nice region of lightning down there in the Dixie Valley area. I do not think that this is going to be a crazy end all severe weather event by any means but either way it could still have some impact on the thanksgiving plans so make sure you're paying attention to that all right guys i know this was a much quicker video than normal but it is final season i have finals luke has finals we all have projects so but nonetheless it is important to talk about this so that's it for now i'll see you in the next one goodbye